it continues with an ardent wait or argent. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Anyways, one footnote, okay? When the phantom is quiet, the Viscount lets out a small noise. Oh! <laughs> okay, sure. Whatever. Raoul visited the opera house for two weeks and every time returned empty handed. For two weeks, I haven't heard from Christine or found anything. The only good news is that I was granted permission to see the blueprint. I suppose the blueprint is better than nothing. Although nothing would delight me more than hearing from Christine. We are all worried. One footnote, they probably talk about Christine in the opera house. Why? <laughs> are there not more people to talk about? Tsk tsk, no wonder they all ran away. Yeah. Because a giant chandelier fell from the ceiling and almost killed everyone. I will run away too. What is she on about? Well, that's the fair being held again. The shows these days are not so great. Oh, that's the worst part about this, huh? Chandelier almost kills a bunch of people, but the shows, eh, they're not what they once were. They're saying that Christine Dye is actually working for someone else. She uses her frail hands to dispose of anyone who gets on her master's nerves. Oh, that's why they talk about her, because she's Swedish. And yeah, okay, get it. <laughs> oh, I guess the little lass is far more dangerous than she looks. Ah, oh, here she took indefinite leave in order to avoid the investigation. She must have run away when all the attention turned to her. I don't wonder who is helping her. Carlotta's croak on the chandelier accident might be Christine's doing too. Ah, oh, please. You're obviously just quoting from Leibach. Has it never occurred to you that people like you are the reason why Christine is not returning to the opera house? Framing an innocent person as the culprit is always easier than finding the truth. <laughs> I heard Christine Diana and her friends were plotting a conspiracy. Are you one of those friends? I am Viscount Raoul de Chagny. My, my, look at me ever so frightened. De Chagny's second son is absurd. The slide is an utter joke. Let's go. <laughs> Assholes. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, okay, he was screaming in agony. He was like, God damn it. I thought he got hurt or someone got hurt. Damn, I'd better see the managers. This ends today. Does it? I wonder if both of them have come to the senses. Yeah, they were pretty out of it last time. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, good luck. Wipe, wipe, and wipe like a baby's butt. Good. Uh, I didn't find any footnotes. We'll just continue. Hello. Yes, thank you. A tap, tap. Ah, a come in. Ah, oh, Viscount, H have you come to collect the blueprint? Ah, treat lightly. The managers are yet. I've had quite enough. You started this false rumor, and now it's your duty to finish it. What? <laughs> Christina! And <laughs> the Phantom? Uh, doctor! Excuse me? <laughs> the Phantom is rubbing us all up a body and a balance! The photo wrapped is of anything. <laughs> you know what? I've actually been taking care of business around here these days. These two gentlemen still seem to be haunted by the phantom. <sighs> then there's nothing for me here. Please hand over the blueprint. Very well. Here you go. Uh, here you go, Viscount. There's something wrong with this blueprint. Something wrong? It's missing the underground area of the f uh, You know, it seems only, it seems to only show information that pertaining to the above ground floor. I'm unsure why that is. I suggest you ask Mr. Fresnel directly. Mr. Fresnel. Mr. Remy, may I borrow some stationary paper, an envelope and a pen? Of course. Where you go? Wait, here you go. Uh, dear Mr. Fresnel, allow me to introduce myself. I am Count Philippe de Chagny. I believe you have heard of me. 
The blueprint I received only depicts the ground floor and above. The Shagni family is in need of the blueprint that has the full structure, including the underground area. Is there any way you could provide me with such a blueprint? As soon as you read this letter, please reply to me and give it to the delivery person. I'll be waiting for your prompt reply. Viscount, no, Count Philippe de Chagny. All right then, I should draw Philippe's signature. Okay, just forging a letter. Wow, you're rather talented in forging signatures. I'd be more grateful if you could deliver this letter to Mr. Fresnel in person. And please get his reply as soon as possible. In person, that means I'll need to deliver it. And also deliver Mr. Fresnel's answer to the Chagny mansion. Please, Mr. Remy, I'd be delighted if I could hear back from him by the end of the day. Why am I not going? Why isn't he going himself? Or is he gonna do something? Like, as he plans or something? Because I'm like... At this point, right? He waited for two weeks to get the blueprint and whatnot. Why is he not going there himself? And like, I don't fucking know. Tries to talk with the person in person. <laughs> I'll try my best to make that happen. Farewell then. With that, I'll leave ya. <laughs> I still don't know Christine's whereabouts. But at least I have part of a blueprint now. I should return home. Philip must be waiting outside for me. Like, what? Are you a kid? My brother must be waiting. Like, <laughs> why can't you stay out after 9 p.m.? The fat, the fat. Hello. I want to talk to you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. The count. Oopsies. What is he doing here? My brother must be waiting. Yeah, but not at home. Oi, oi, oi. Why the long face, Raoul? Are you feeling sick? Viscount, I think you'd better get inside and rest. Sir Eddie, I'm sorry, but I think I'd better take him home. If he's still in this shape tomorrow, I'm afraid I won't be able to see you for a while. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. Your brother is very important to you. I'll go ahead and wait in the carriage, Raoul. Miss Sorelli? Oh my, what is it? The Count must be waiting for you. Have you seen Christine these past few days? I haven't seen or heard from her since the chandelier accident. I knew she took an indefinite leave of absence, so I assumed she must be very sick or something must have happened to her family. I haven't been to her home yet. She always comes in, no matter how ill she is, insisting on practicing with the others. Christine wasn't at her. Never mind, it's nothing. We still believe Christine will come back, though. Yes, we believe that, but I certainly am worried. As am I. Why are you looking for Christine anyway? Uh, Adoy. Are you too... Raoul, what is taking you so long? Miss Sorelli, please let me know if you happen to see Christine. Of course. I'll see you again, Viscount. Mm. Right, I should hurry home. There's the footnote. We'll pick that up before we head home. Boulevard Saint-Germain. Both fictional and factual information, okay? Boulevard Saint-Germain is a boulevard located on the left bank of the River Seine. The boulevard crosses the Saint-Germain-des-Prés Carter. An area of Paris known for its long history of religious and artistic significance. In addition to the Chagny family mansion, it is home to an art school. saint germain de pré quarter. Hmm. Okay. Cool, I guess. Let's go home. Where to? Did my brother not tell you where to go? I mean, saint germain please. Raoul, what's keeping you? Get in the carriage. Christine. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Gravely disappointed, Raoul returned home with his brother. Where the heck could the lady be? I mean, I have a hunch. I mean, I have a hunch where she could be. But how do you get missing for two weeks and no one looks for you except one dude? Like, her friends are just like, well, I haven't been to her home yet. But, you know, 
it was said she has an indefinite leave. Like, there's no checking up on people here. What is going on? How could Philippe ever understand how I feel? He's just a robot and nothing else. No matter how hard I try, it feels like I'm struggling in the dark. The pressure is creeping up on me, man. Uh, Raoul, someone has delivered a letter to you in person. A letter? It must be from Mr. Fresnel. Fresnel? Are you referring to Henry Fresnel, the esteemed architect? If I knew you were interested in architecture, I would have sent you to a university to study. Well, okay, that's that of that situation. Conversation. Good job. Me. Let's see, what does it say? Dear Count de Chagny, I apologize sincerely. The blueprint only depicts ground floor and above of the opera house. I did in fact design the exterior and the interior of the opera house. But it was my colleague, Clovis Ruel, who built the underground area of the opera house. Where is this Ruel? <laughs> when he went missing, the underground blueprint was lost as well. <gasps> what? That's so cool, but also what? Missing. The man in charge of constructing the underground area went missing? Whatever could this mean? Well, that he went missing, that he's not around anymore he vanished disappeared lost in thin air i don't know <laughs> english <clears throat> raoul why is the letter addressed to count de chagny what is this about eh uh, i might have used your name to get information raoul speak to me now with absolute honesty like am i a robot. Lie about it. Tell only part of the truth. That's both the same thing. <laughs> You're like that's what? That's both the same thing. I must look for something in the opera house right now. And for that, I needed the blueprint to be able to search every inch of the opera house. I needed the blueprint as quickly as possible. So I had to use your name. Sir, I'm sorry. <sighs> You're 20 years old. Yet you continue acting like an irresponsible child. You should have just asked me for my help. I am sad that you don't trust me. Look at my face. I'm sincere. And very sad now. Robots have feelings too. Haven't you seen Wally? -E? <laughs> Would you believe me if I said I needed the blueprint to find the angel of music? Also, I could not possibly mention it involves Christine. Why, though? They never address this. Why his um, affiliation, is that how you say it? His little liaison with Christine. You know, the little romance, romance between him and her is a bit not good for him. Or why the brother wouldn't like it. Because, I mean, the brother has something with a dancer. So what's the problem? Him having something with a singer? They're both in the opera house. I don't really get it. Is it because the dancer the brother is with is higher stages or something? Like, I don't really... Uh, they never explain it. They're just like, well... Uh, shit! <laughs> Do you need any more help? Yes, sir. Could you find out about Clovis Ruel? Clovis Cluvis? I don't know. I need his help to complete the blueprint. You're not going to drag him into any trouble, are you? No, no. I'm just curious. Fine. I'll find out about him. The next few hours seemed to pass extremely slowly. Raoul held his hands together tightly and waited for his brother to return. Clenching the fists! Philippe, did you find out anything? Mm. Yes, as a matter of fact. Clovis, or Clovi? Because you don't say the S in French, right? Clovis Ruel went missing 10 years ago during the construction of the opera house. And I heard that they never found his body. What? What the hell is happening here? Like, is the Phantom of the Opera uh, someone who owned the opera house before and wanted that the underground area got uh, created and so that no one finds out about how it looks and whatnot so they could 
swing around in the opera house unseen. They killed the person, the only person who knew how the opera house was constructed. Is that the story? Because <laughs> what is happening here? Then the blueprint of the underground area. I'm sorry, Raul, but his death was never confirmed. So if I look into... No, Philippe, there is no need for you to do that. Finding a missing person in Paris. Although this is a bit different, they never found tens of thousands of missing people. At when? And to find someone who's been missing for so long, it's got to be almost impossible. What is he talking about? A war? Is he talking about that? Like, when did people get missing in Paris at that time? What is he talking about? <laughs> like, give me the event that you're uh, referring to right now, Raoul. Because, I mean, I know they did find a bunch of people in the Twin Towers, right? When when that happened, that tragedy happened. And you oftentimes don't find everyone who dies in war and shit. Some people just get missing and, you know, never, not even a body are found. Which is very tragic because, yeah. <sighs> Where are you off to? Did I even read what it said there? I don't think I did, but it was on screen so long. I'm sure you could read it yourself. Where are you off to? <laughs> I said that though twice. The Opera House. Since I don't have the blueprint, I need to find another way. Two weeks wasted for nothing. I mean, look, if if, if he was me, I would have probably uh, wrote the letter and then I would have looked around the Opera House every single day while waiting for the letter to arrive, trying to find another way into the underground. In the underground. Ooh. Man, that was a good show. Sonic Underground. Best show ever. The only reason I know Sonic. Even though I watched Sonic X before. Sonic X. Sonic X. Sonic. Sonic X. <laughs> I watched that and then I found out about Sonic Underground. And I was like, hey, yeah. And they never finished it. They never find their mom. Which is depressing. Why is that not getting a remake? Come on! <laughs> so many things get remakes and whatever in Hollywood that don't need it. But we're not making a Sonic Underground remake. With the same graphics though, please. I wanted the 80s style, okay? Just modernized. Anyways, it's Madame Giri and her daughter. I should greet them before I enter. Fine. I should say hello again. Hello again! <laughs> Christine! Hello, madam. Ah, good to see you again, Viscount de Chagny. What brings you to the Opera House today? It's nothing. Do you have business at the Opera House too? Oh, I ran here after I received a letter. Oh, I'm to be in re re reinstated. Ha! Finally! That's great to hear, madam. Those two must have been scared out of their minds. Excuse me? Uh, Miss Giri, uh, Giri, I have a question for you. Has Christine returned to the Opera House? Nobody has seen or heard from her since that day. What if she really is gravely ill? I'm so worried about her. <laughs> we know, understood. Have a nice day, Miss Count Stegny. No one knows anything. Oh, oh, my sweet baby. I hope you do your best today. Like always. She has the voice of her mother. Well, I hope I can find a clue or a lead this time. Um, excuse me. Please wait a moment. I have something to give you. Oh, why did you call me? What is it, Miss Kitty? Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Is this a letter for me? No, it's an envelope, you dummy. You must never let anyone know I told you this, Viscount. And it was lying in front of Christine's dressing room. <gasps> Christine, did you see her? No, I just recognized her handwriting. It said, please deliver this to Viscount Raoul de Chagny. And I did that right now. So Christine has returned. I can't be certain of that. I didn't read the contents. Understood. By the way, will you be attending the masquerade ball at the opera house? 
Philippe says he'll be attending with Miss Sorelli. I'm not sure whether I will come. I would come if Christine were here. Uh, understood, Viscount. Good luck! Everyone is eagerly hoping for Christine's return, you see? Ah. Entering the opera house is not an issue. Now that I've heard from her, it is clear what I must do. Read the letter! Um, it will lead me to Christine. This letter, yes. But where is Christine at this very moment? The night the chandelier fell. Where could she have gone? To? Where could she have gone? Okay. Woo! What is... Why is there a picture on this one? Is there always... No. There's not always a picture, right? Well... Characters... Raoul... With Christine... An ardent wait. Raoul receives Christine's handwritten letter. Oh my god, that was so important that we had to write it down. <laughs> Raoul gets Philippe's help to acquire the blueprint, but fails to get the complete version. Oh, 15 days after Christine went missing, Raoul receives Christine's letter from Meg. Eh, I know. I <laughs> know. Ah, Count Chutney wants to help his younger brother and is willing to do so despite not knowing the truth. What a good boy! A good man! Okay, that's it. Achievements? What achievement did I get? This is once you complete all that you can collect special illustrations. Okay. Oh, this? Chandelier Craftsman? Uh, oh, okay. Acquired these footnotes. And I still need more for the fighter and the wanderer. Oh, okay. Uh, Coolio! 